In this life hack compilation, we'll show how to store handmade supplies, use empty containers, and prank our friends. Have you finished your favorite EOS balm? Don't hurry to throw away the container. Make a practical mini box for small stuff. We've cut out the middle grid in an EOS container. Fill the box with tiny embellishments and little things you need. My friend and I are great EOS lip balm lovers. I've got a real lip balm, but she's made a small stuff holder. It's a super cool idea. It's smart and useful. Can't find beads or buttons you need? We've got a great solution. Make a functional organizer from matchboxes. Attach two matchboxes using hot or multi-purpose glue. Combine three box pairs to make a holder. You can take more pairs for a bigger holder. Take a strip of self-adhesive velvet paper. Wrap it around the boxes to put them together. The matchbox organizer looks like a chest of drawers. Decorate it with little embellishments. Stick an embellishment stored in the drawer to its front. It won't take you long to look for your handmade supplies. You'll easily find them in the drawers of the cute mini organizer. Besides, it can be a centerpiece of your working place. I've got another idea to store tiny handmade supplies. Put them into little bottles. Put a paper cone into a bottle. Add little supplies. It may be glitter, seed beads, or jump rings. Stopper the bottle. It's a great alternative for boring Ziploc bags. This storage style is both practical and stunning. Do you have empty glue bottles left? Fill them with paint and prank your friend. Remove the dispenser from an empty liquid gel pen. Fill it with acrylic paint you use frequently. Put on the dispenser. It'll spread an even amount of paint over the paper. Squeeze the paint into an empty glue bottle with a brush. Does your friend need glue? Give her your glue pen. Oops, it's paint. Try it again. This time, give her your glue bottle. It's paint inside. On the other hand, it's beautiful. Besides, you can paint without using additional brushes. What to do with the excess paint? Transfer it into an empty medicine bottle. Have you got a lot of mixed paint left over? It's impractical to wash away such good stuff. Collect the paint with a flat brush and transfer it into an empty container. A used medicine bottle will do perfectly well. Cover it with the top. Apply a little paint on the top to know which color is inside. This hack will help you keep the paint until your next art class. Just look at the top to know which color you already have. Are you out of glue? It's no problem if you have nail polish on hand. You probably have nail polish you don't like or is expired. Use it instead of glue. Apply the polish to the corners of the paper. Press over. Apply a polish strip. It holds tight. If you are out of paper glue, don't rush to a supply store. The nail polish you don't use to paint your nails will substitute for the glue to attach paper elements. Do you need original scrapbook paper? Use bubble wrap. Cover the bubble side with acrylic paint. Use a sponge. Press the wrap against a piece of color paper. The bright abstract pattern will do well for either card making or scrapbooking. Do you need to write a big figure without paint and a brush? Take washi tape. Mark the figure outline with a pencil. Attach the tape across the lines. Correct the shape with a craft knife. Use this trick in card making to create bright images of simple shapes. This playful little ball keeps bouncing all the time. Last time we put it into a jar. Now we'll check a few other life hacks. Attach a binder clip to a little box. Put in a ball of wool and pass the thread through the handles. Take a regular funnel for another hack. Put in the ball and pass the thread through the tube. Turn it over to cover the ball. Your thread won't tangle and the ball won't roll away. Do you think your old phone case is too plain and boring? Decorate it with a number of eyes. Place funny eye stickers on your phone case. Make a pattern from differently sized details. Attach the eyes. 
Your phone has transformed into a funny, multi-eyed creature watching over you while you call your friend. Do you need to spray paint a little detail? Put it in a box. To avoid painting all around, put the detail into an empty box. Spray paint it all over until you are satisfied with the result. It's a great idea for a spray paint job both inside and outdoors. In case you do it inside, be sure to air your room. Give a second life to a lipstick container. Transform it into a smart keychain. Snip off a piece of a glue stick a slant. Smooth it with the hot nozzle of a glue gun. Put it in an empty lipstick container. Paint it with nail polish. You can take any color you want. Fasten a little screw eye. Attach a keychain ring and chain. Perfect! This used lipstick container transformed into an awesome keychain that will keep your keys safe and secure. Transform a regular cup with a lid into a no-spill paint one. Use a modeling knife to make a cross cut in the lid of a Play-Doh cup. Widen it with a pencil. Pour in water and put on the lid. You can paint with a thin handled brush. If the cup falls, water won't spill over. Have you torn off a zipper pull tab? Replace it with a paper clip. Work on it to make it handy. Place a clip on a piece of baking paper. Add a strip of hot glue in the middle. When cool, paint it with matching nail polish. Peel off the paper. Fasten the clip to the tab holder. Perfect! This simple hack has transformed a plain paper clip into a useful pull tab. You can also use a piece of wire instead. Do you often use the same few thread colors? Make a small organizer to keep your favorite spools on hand. Take apart a little frame and paint it. Use acrylic paints of two contrast colors. Start with the back of the frame. Apply the paint across the opposite sides. Spread each color up to the middle. Move the brush from right to left to mix the paints making a smooth transition of colors. Paint the frame in the same style. Assemble the frame. Hammer big nails aslant. Put on your spools. Hang the holder next to your working place to have your favorite thread set always on hand. Do you like drawing with wax crayons? Make them double. Put wax crayons into water to remove the labels. Hold them there for a few minutes. Now you can take off the paper easily. Cut off some of the wax crayon to make it shorter. Align the crayons to get the supplies of the same size. Melt the cut ends over a flame. Join them, pressing against each other and twisting a little. Put on the wrapper. Glue the paper with a hot glue gun nozzle. Add the other wrapper. Keep in mind the wording. It's a perfect trick if you don't have enough space for your wax crayons in your pencil case. Now, you'll be able to keep all your favorite colors with you. What to do if your hot glue gun doesn't have a stand? Use a binder clip. Put your hot glue gun in this way. It's easy and practical. Where to put a brush for keeping your desk clean? Use a clothespin as a brush holder. Fasten a brush with a clothespin and put it on the desk. Use this life hack and you won't have to rinse your brush each time you are distracted from your painting. We hope you'll find the tricks you need in this crafting hack compilation. You now know how to glue paper if you don't have any glue, how to make cute holders for little handmade supplies, and how to give a second life to your empty school supply and makeup containers. Write in your comments which life hack you liked the most. Subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the bell to be among the first to watch the new videos.